I hope everybody had a safe and happy new year. We had an amazing Christmas break or holiday break. Mm -hmm. um, this is Tech Geek Gamers. We are your hosts, Tara, Chris, Mark, and Corey. This week we play and teach you how to play Alba Longa. <laughs> Welcome to Alba Longa, where we are going to play the role of four competing kings to become the king of kings and ultimately rule the land. Mm. We have been each given our own respective city, um, where we will try and build monument and grow population. Those are the two, two victories, two, two conditions to victory. Um, the game will be played throughout a series of years. Each year has two seasons. There is a time constraint. If it's seven years, none of us have met victory conditions, we all lose. Mm. Oh, we are poor kings. kings. Poor kings, exactly. <clears throat> so what happens in a year? There are two seasons. There is the planting season and the harvesting season. Um, what's going to happen in each of those seasons? Let's start with the first planting season. Okay. Um, we are going to take turns rolling dice, and we are going to be auctioning dice. I'll explain that in further detail in just a minute. And as we do that, we're going to be allocating our... Uh, let's call them civilians, um, to different tasks around our city. They're peasants, aren't they? They are peasants, yes. We are <laughs> They're kings, always they peasants. are peasants. Uh, the jobs that we can allocate them to are to become soldiers, to attack what? other cities, to become uh, merchants, to go to the markets and earn our city more money, to become quarry... Last thing Matt used that word. Quarrymen. To become quarry workers... <laughs> And, uh, and build the monuments that are required for victory, to become priests, to worship in the temples. Why would you do that? And during the harvest season, okay. farmers. To start the game, each player is given a city tile, eight peasants, two discs of their color, five coins, and some cards. Um, what you're given essentially is the cards that match the other player's cities, which you'll use later on to attack, to choose which city you're going to attack in secrecy. And you're also given hero cards that will help you out in your fight. Okay. In the middle of the table, we create a uh, blessing pile of cards, shuffle and replace, and we create our uh, season deck as well. Um, this deck will contain either a dry, moderate, or wet season card. Uh, players will know by the back of the card what kind of a season we'll be going into next. Don't scout ahead. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Scouting not allowed. You can't scout the weather. Ninja. Um, keep the pile secret. Almanac, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the so wheat pieces will be just creating a pile in the middle, money in the middle, and a pile of people as well for additional resources. <laughs> <laughs> Additionally, we also have the market board. Um, and what's going to happen is this is going to be used to track what season we're in. Right now we're in the planting season. Then later we'll be in the harvest season. Okay, it's also going to track the cost of rolling the dice. This is going to increment as we roll dice. I'll get to that later. And it also has six containers for uh, money transactions, basically. And we're going to we're going to add to those heaps. And there's a bit of strategy that plays out in which pile to add the money to. Ah. Uh, in a four-player game as ours, we won't use the sixth square. There's a little man to let you reminded of that. Four. That is correct. How do you win? The winner of the game is the first player to build all 10 monuments and have a population of 16 or more. So at the end of the year, you need to feed your people, and then if you still have enough people and the full monuments built, you will win the game. If there is a tie, which happens frequently, it will come down to who has the largest population. Oh, not a battle to the death? If there's still a tie after that, it will be the people. biggest combination of money and wheat left over. Mm. If there's still a tie after that, they will share the victory. We'll start with the merchants because it's plain and simple. As you allocate peasants to merchant roles, the amount of money you get back increases. So you'll see there's one coin for one peasant, two coins, or an extra coin for two more peasants. So if you had three, you would receive two coins. Additionally, the person with the most merchants will get first choice of the pool of money. Mm. So there's a bit of an action there. The quarry 
is a two to one ratio. For every two peasants, you can build one monument. The temple will increase your worship level. So what you'll do is at the end of the planting season, you'll count the number of priests you have in there, return them back to their houses, and move the disc up. So this is cumulative over the year, so both seasons. So in the next, in the harvest season, you'll add to that value. Farmers <coughs> are pretty straightforward as well. This will be only in the harvest season that you will allocate as many farmers as you like. For each farmer, you will receive that much wheat. You may allocate additional farmers, but only the first five will produce wheat. Why would you want to addi allocate additional farmers? Because they're human meat shields. Okay, so that brings us to the fighting. <laughs> <laughs> when you have allocated at least one soldier, you get to pick another country or city to fight. Which is the, the random So country, you will take right? your three yeah. cards. Or not random, but secret. Yes. So in secret, you will choose who you would like to fight. Each player will put that card face down. Oh. And we will reveal them all at the same time. Hey. So, so Corey, them. Roma, you're a wolf with teats. Hey, I'm a mother wolf, okay? Uh, if a player doesn't have any soldiers, obviously they're not defending themselves. But the hero card... They will still have a hero okay. join the fight. Okay, I'm going to play out a little <clears throat> bit of an example here with Corey. Corey has no soldiers. I've allocated three soldiers. I reveal that I'm attacking Corey. I'm attacking you, though. You don't have any soldiers, so you don't get to. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Each one of it's us will taken. decide on a hero card, which have a value in the bottom right corner that we're going to add to this total. Okay. Okay. We'll hypothetically say we both chose the four. I did. Okay. <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll add that total. So four plus three is seven. Four plus zero is four. I beat you by three. So the greater you destroy an opponent, the more damage is caused. If Chris had also attacked the wolf with teats. Yeah. Roma. Roma, okay. And he had added his three soldier plus two soldiers. The amount we beat you by would increase. Okay. So you would suffer more damage. So then who gets damaged? I lose peasants then? Whoever contributes the larger force chooses where the damage goes. Oh. Um, usually put to committee vote anyway, but ultimately the decision is yours. If you had three workers in the quarry and we hit you for two damage, they would be returned to the houses before you build your monument. And one guy builds nothing. You and one guy builds nothing. Yeah. Okay, okay. You just sit there and does this pretty much all day. The dice. <laughs> this game is unique because it has what's called a dice auction. Okay? What's going to happen is the main player is going to roll the dice. King of Kings. The King of Kings is going to roll the dice. Each of the dice is color coordinated to a different area on the board. You'll see the little flag next to the correct one. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. black is black is soldier. Soldier, yeah. white is white uh, is quarry. Quarry. Silver or gray Market. is merchant and brown is Priest. temple. Okay. You'll notice there is no dice for farmer. <gasps> That's only for I harvest. I did anyway. notice that. Huh. In the <laughs> harvest season, you may use any die for farmers. Two. So okay. if you roll a 4, 4 being the highest, the dice go from 1 to 4. I should Twice in a row. One, that. two, three, yeah. four. They're really shafts. They're not really dice. They're shafts. I, they, I believe they are Roman columns. Is, okay. is what they are for. You can roll them nice though. They they're fun. It, they're they're fun and unique to this game, and I like that. Okay. What happens is Chris got to roll the dice. He then chooses one of the values, and allocates up to that many peasants to that area. Mm -hmm. For example, he'll choose a three to the priests. He'll allocate two priests to the temple. Now, there are three dice left, and we're going to auction them off. What happens is, Tara will get the first chance to buy any of these dice at a cost of one. Sorry, I missed something. He rolled a three, but he gets to go two... Up to three. Up to three. He doesn't I decide. He can choose three. to save these for later. Gotcha. <clears throat> I blacked out for a second. That's okay. Was... So, what Tara's <clears throat> going to do is, she likes this three. She wants to buy that. So she'll put one coin in any of the five containers. We'll remove that die from the pool. Okay. And then you can allocate up to three. To what if I wanted to buy that? Yeah, so is it, it's not a... She got to go first. I go first. Oh, oh, so it's not actually an auction. The, 
Well, there's no well, option. You can actually let pass. Me, let me get to that. Okay. Tara could pass, right? So it comes to Corey. Corey, do you want to buy either of these dice for one? You say, no thanks. No. comes to me. I'll say, no thanks. Now what happens We're is... We're tied, so we should say, It comes no to thanks. Chris. Chris, do you want to buy one of these dice? You may buy one for one. You say, no thank you. comes to Tara again. Tara, would you like to buy any of these dice for one? No. And she says, no. Now, everybody has passed on this roll. Okay. All four dice are collected and handed to the next person. The cost to roll the dice is tracked here. Right now it's zero. So you will roll the dice for free. When it comes back around to Chris, we move this up. So if Chris wants to roll all four dice again, he will have to pay one for it. That makes sense. Mm. That okay. The market. Yep. okay. If we've all allocated all of our peasants already, and Chris still has six guys waiting there, he has to pay each time he wants to roll. We're not going to be interested, and it's going to go up each time he rolls. Wow. Okay. So, so this smart. is why you want to buy the good dice from the other players while you have the chance, so that you're not stuck sitting with a whole bunch of unallocated mm. peasants. That makes sense. Break dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Break dancers. Like what you've done there. <laughs> Over here in Roma, we stand on our heads. Yes. Mother deep. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. Can we yes. start to play yet? Let's play the game. Uh, as the king of kings. As the king of kings, well, I, because I'm the youngest, I get to choose. That's right. But I am selfish, so I'm going to be the king of kings. <laughs> so I get to go first. That's right. So you roll Once the I dice. I was the <clears> king of kings. For free. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, stop saying that. I don't know how to write that song. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you have a four, a three, and two twos. All right, so now I get to choose which one I want, right? That's Where right. to go. And brown is the warship. I like it. But you, God, so you've never played this game before. I'm going to throw put something at you. The maximum. I'm going to do all throw four <laughs> into now, the uh, temple and begin worshiping my What does your worship song sound like? Oh, God. Okay, okay, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Tara, the dice come to you. If you would like to buy any of those dice, I'm you can for one. I'm going to buy the three. Okay. And the one. And the white one is for Corey. Yes. And as we already know, that they only go in sets of two, so I'm going to take two. Okay. Now, as our viewers have asked for tidbits or advice, I'll say that right now, a soldier could cripple one of those guys and you would get nothing. Okay. So fine. a defensive measure could be to put the extra guy in. Go in, Gimpy. But nobody has soldiers yet. Up to you. Yeah, but I, I detect a little bit of bloodthirstiness from this I one, just it, so. it makes a juicy target when you only put two guys in the quarry. That's Good all point. I'm saying. Corey, would you like to buy either of those dice? I will buy a die. Or a column. Would or, you like to buy either of those columns? Which one? Um, I am going to buy the gray. An excellent choice. Mock it. But yeah, I'm only going to put one guy. Sure, I will take the soldier and throw two in there. So, since you've played this, what, yes. where does the strategy of coin allocation start really... Whoever has the most merchants... Yeah, gets to go and shoot. ...wants to keep fattening one pot. Uh, mm. Those who have yes. less merchants wants to spread it around so they get some. Got okay? it. Okay? What's going to happen is the bank takes one. What was it? The spot okay. with the most money, the bank is going to take their cut. It's going to disappear. Mm. Whoever has the most merchants will pick the second one, and then so on and so forth until... So the bank takes the full amount that's in that location? Yes. So if there was like four, three, and two, the bank the would four, take the four, the, the merchant would take the, the highest, three. And the two would go to them. And typically these might be empty at that point, so the other two people would get nothing. Got it. You need Goodbye. at least one merchant to get any of those. Okay. So as of right now, he's the only one that's <clears> actually in the standing to get any of this money out. Yes. Correct. Okay. So all the dice have been selected. Nobody can buy any more. The dice are passed to Tara, and she can roll for free. Ooh. I roll awesome, Murph. I'm going to take the four, and I'm going to put two there. Oh. What? Nothing. <laughs> we just thought we, were about to, we thought we were about to, like, Listen. There's going to be a throwdown. Yeah. Listen. <clears throat> Sorry.
Great. Okay, well then. Now everyone has allocated those peasants. We're done rolling dice. Okay, what happens now? Cool. We're going to resolve. Okay. So, we resolve. so everyone that has soldiers yes. can pick another city to attack. Excellent. Okay. We've all selected. Chris and I have a vendetta against each other when it comes <laughs> to board reveal, games. Reveal at the same time. Okay. Suck it, Blue! What the hell? Good. We all went all over the place. Yay, all over the place. Um, now we all pick our hero simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Simultaneously? Um, face down again and we'll oh. reveal. Two. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Mostly, mostly three. It's okay. Starting with the King of Kings, are you under attack? No. Okay, and you are under attack? Yes. What hero did you choose? The two? Two. And I chose a three. We each have two soldiers, so I beat you by one. Crap. I can do one sabotage. I'll sabotage your merchant. If it's your last merchant, he just lays down. Oh. Okay. You won't get the horizontal value from him, but, just um, but you will get to choose one of the pots. Woohoo! Pots! Oh. Oh. Um, Roma is being attacked by Velitre. 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 And the totals are three to four, so Tara can sabotage one of Corey's. Your market guy's going down. Lay him down. Enjoy. And Abalunga is under attack from V. Vai. Yeah. And I it's have vai. a total of vai. five to your total of seven. You beat me by two, you can do one sabotage. Oh, well, yes, your merchant. Huh. Okay. Okay. Good to know. So that resolves our <clears throat> soldiers. Now we go counterclockwise around the table. So the next is the merchants. Uh, everyone will receive a coin for every row they've filled out, except if they're laying down. So oh, I get two coins. The bank takes its cut of the largest pot. They're all the, they're all the same. Throw one of those in and then anyone who has merchants will get to choose a pot going on who has the most. So I have the most. I will pick first. They're all the same. Doesn't really matter. And then uh, Tara would be next because of clockwise. Matter. And then Corey. Hmm. And then this last pot will be wasted. I feel like because I Chris may have no made merchants. a mistake. <laughs> you're, you're going to need money to buy dice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. However. We take uh, <laughs> into the quarry. Anyone that has a uh, two-to-one ratio can start building their monuments across the top of their board. I have five, so I can only build two. So, yeah. Tara builds two, and Corey builds three. Then we get to the temple, and you can move your worship marker up to the value of the number of... I guess these guys are supposed to be returning to the housing when they right. do their job. Get back to work. So, Sorry. you would know, sure. maybe you know. Feeding your I'm people, a king must spend an amount really? of money equal to the number of peasants so currently living in the city. Are you? Yeah. yeah. The city okay. is more Before more we get to, to the growing season, we will reset this back to zero. Mm-hmm. Before we move this over here, the King of Ching, King of Kings will choose a new King of Kings. Ooh, okay. Does he can anyone he... other than himself? Ah. I shall choose Mark. No, hey. heart, no well, hard feelings. Remember we go clockwise, so typically you choose the person to your right so that you get to go second. Hey, look at that. Speaking of hard feelings. Okay. okay. I didn't even realize that. I just made a smart move without okay. even knowing it. Okay. okay. Huh. We now in the harvest season. So in this season, I'll remind you that you can use any die to allocate that number of farmers mm -hmm. up to that number of farmers. Mm -hmm. More than five only becomes meat shields. Meat shields. Mm. Got it. <laughs> At the end of the year, you will need to feed your people, yes. including these eight. Including these eight. And okay. how much wheat do they eat? One, One per person. Okay. Okay. So right now, we all need to grow at least eight wheat, or else we would lose. We would start losing people. They would starve to death and leave us. Woohoo! Okay. Would they leave or would you just let them rot yeah. in the streets? Are they leaving they us because they're hungry or are they starving to death and we're just burning their corpses? They heard there's a feast over here. They're going to go eat there. Got See it. you guys. I'm going to golf. Yeah. That was your role. Hmm? That was your role, wasn't it? No. No. no, no. That was your you role. started. That's why you got guys in there and no one else does. Huh. <sighs> Gee, what do we... Let's see if he's peaceful or non-peaceful. So Chris has the option to put a lot of farmers in, if need be. What happens is because two of the dice are four, he actually will pick against his opponents at this time. That's what I'm doing. Three? Remember, you get to, put, you get to choose to put guys in wheat in oh. your fields with this, right? Because you're the roller. I'm going to take a three... And I'm putting guys in for my feet. That's her role. That's rolling. That's rolling. <laughs> Show me money here. 
Money, 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 money. I will take the Ooh, four. Some Ooh, big numbers there. Left. Let's no. get to the fighting. So Chris and I will choose somebody to pick on. Okay. I'm attacking. I'm oh, attacking oh. Corey. Don't show us that. <laughs> so now this is a, is this a gang up situation where Corey has no soldiers to defend himself. So we're starting at a value of two. If we want to do three sabotage, we need to get to a total of six. Six. Over and above him. Over and above his cart. Okay. Right. So the Don't most he can that. do is four. If he uses his four, we would need, we to, need get to get to, get to ten. ten. So getting up in this. Holy shnikes! That means we both need to play our fours. I will choose this <laughs> card. That wasn't obvious at all. I'll choose that card, and I will choose this card. Show them. Oh, look at that! Well played, Corey. Well played. <laughs> Okay, so now we actually get to do four sabotage. Holy shit. Uh, we were tied, so I it think, doesn't uh, anything. I'll go first as the king of kings or choose it. Yeah. Um, it might be a one-to-one -one picking. like. Oh, really? And you pick. Mm. So I'll return one of these guys, and then you can pick. Um, I'll also return one from your quarry. And then another one. And then you can do one more damage. Uh, to one of your farmers so there. That farmer just lays down. I sliced off his right arm. Just a flesh wound. Okay. Where we reveal what happens this season. Uh. Is anyone that has six worship can reduce their worship by six to get plus one per farmer. Okay. Um, after that, anyone who does pay that six at a two per one ratio can buy blessing cards. So and what do you mean by like, two per one? So if you had six and spent it and got the upgrade, right. you could then spend two more to get a card. Gotcha. So you have to do this. You have to, to upgrade these. to get the blessing. Damn it. You have to really love the gods. They're gonna be awesome next turn though. So there is a big benefit to worshiping. The worship number changes by season. Okay. Okay. In a wet season, it's less worship for an upgrade. Because you're getting a lot of easy green. In a dry season, you gotta Really pray hard. Uh, yes. You gotta put the time in in a dry season. Many goats have been slain. <clears throat> so, everyone, I believe, has four farmers. Sorry, Corey. Everyone has four farmers except Corey has one laying down. So, Maybe. we each get three per farmer. Twelve. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, the so we are starting the third year in the harvest phase. Terra's in the lead with eight monuments and 14 people. Uh, then it's Mark with some stuff, and Chris and I way far behind. So it doesn't really matter. Um, and Terra is the king of kings, so... Okay, we start off by allocating our free allocation. Which are which enough to yeah. all done. And Terra gets her free roll. Let us go. Let us roll. Harvest, so... The columns. Look, a four. That looks like a whole lot of farmers. Yeah. However, did you get... So you have a choice between two, three, two, three, three, and three. Three and three. Um, crap sticks, but I'll take the two. Okay, makes sense. Three Mark? or three. Hey, Man, all the music. All okay, the music. I will pass on those, I think. Really? I actually know who that was. Huh. Peter Gabriel. No. 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 John. No. Enigma. Jacob. Enigma. Enigma. That's what it was. I will take the priesty guys. Right. Yeah. Brownie. Yeah, Browns. Pretty. I love the Browns. Beardy. The football team. Yeah, they're awesome. Taking that? I yeah, guess. I am. Because you're weird. Okay. All right. Well, you're yeah, weird. She, you're maxed weird. Out her food oh, party. I That's didn't pay weird. the. Oh, yeah. All right. Give me your <laughs> shafts. <laughs> All right. I think they're better as columns. I love this. Give me a four here. There's one. Okay, a couple. Two. You have two Ooh. fours. Go for a two first. What's a two for? There's a joke along there, but I can't think of it right now. I think it has something to do with a 2 6. Chris? Do you want a 4 merchant or a 3 <laughs> <laughs> priesty guy? 
I'll pass. What the balls is Darren? that? Um, she said balls. <laughs> <laughs> so? It's funny. Oh. Balls are funny. Good to know. They really are. So technically, that'd make it your funny bone. Or oh. your funny balls. Oh, I see what you did there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna pass. Not All right, really. so here's a question. If it comes back around to me, I'm pretty sure I can buy a second die and turn it into farmers. Pretty sure. Ugh. 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 Yeah. They'll farm it up. No, they won't. They'll quarry it. <laughs> Ooh. Chris, you got a, a one gray. One I... merchant, four soldiers, or a <laughs> priest guy. Um, I'll pass. That's what he says. Uh, I'm certain that's what he said. I'm going to pass as well. Okay, everybody's allocated. Everybody is allocated. Let's do some fighting. Who's got soldiers? <clears throat> Show them. Fuck you, <laughs> Pick a hero. Pick a card, any card. Oh, hero. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Is this gonna back me up on this one? No, of course not. I need no soldiers. Flip them. God damn it. Is that four? four? So I have six. Six. six to the uh, uh, I got five. Six. Uh, and I have four, eight, so we have nine, nine to your nine. six. We hit you for two damage. We each get to pick one. Nine for six? Wait. Oh, yeah. 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 We only beat it by three. Yeah. yeah. Two damage. Uh, quarry. Shocker. Soldier. Also shocker. Yes. Hmm? Is that right? Wait. Yeah. No, wait. That's not right. Because mm -hmm. you still beat me by one anyway. Mm, put the soldier back. <laughs> and not the soldier. And I'll hit a farmer. Oh, that's go and lay him down. Go and ask. Losing him. people. Okay, and then you attack me, and you can sabotage one thing. Doesn't matter, but um. Ooh. One, Armor could two, screw three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna go farmer. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but he's only still one of course. Yeah, yeah, but it it it's still it. I think we're gonna get another year out of this. Messes that's him okay. up pretty good. Yeah. 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 Oh, I would also like to buy a worship card. Does anyone else buy? Oh, well, I yeah. do. I, I do. Buying, I'm also buying a worship card. Card two. 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 I can't. I'm you can't. Can. Corey, you're can first. Boom! Worship card. Three wheat. Ooh. Three wheat. Nice. That's decent. And then I get. Don't give Holy it to him. Monument, monument, monument. No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> God's <laughs> a beat on me. <laughs> God's a beat. In some cultures, that's a good thing. One, two. I guess. Monument. No! <laughs> <laughs> yet Tara and Mark are right on it. Chris and I are so close with where change your people marker. There, Chris. You're at sixteen now. Oh man. I am now in the last place. <laughs> I instantly regret not getting money last round. We got too many guys to allocate. Give me my free roll. Oh give me death. Free roll give for me a Free white. Here you go, Dad. Okay. Yeah. There hey. you go. <laughs> well, it works for you. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's just splendid. Yes. A bit Boom. Damn it. That's lame, because that gives him four, which gives him ten. Yep. He also has the biggest army. Uh, no, Tara's tied with Tara. Hmm. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for Corey, but... Sorry about that. No, it's okay. You guys are going to figure out. <laughs> oh, no. This could go, this could go horribly poorly. <laughs> <laughs> I really think it will. Really. Horribly poorly. Um, All I am seeing is everybody... I'm losing. I see everybody <laughs> winning but me. <laughs> That's <laughs> all I see. I'm going to buy the priest, because why the hell not? Three priests. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. I think Everybody's that's done. everybody yeah. deployed. Eric. Anybody with a soldier, pick who you're fighting. Okay. Soldier boy. Everybody's okay. ready? 
So I bet. You <laughs> suck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just glad no one's attacking me this time. Okay, pick a hero. This is gonna hurt. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it already does. I only have one soldier. We all picked a hero. My total is two. My total is six. My Nine. total is three. Eight. So that was 14 mm -hmm. plus three. Yeah. yeah, that's the most four damage. Okay, meat shields. Well, the, we can't prevent him from getting the... You can the... just hack and slash my market if you want it. Yeah. Right? Because he doesn't um, have a lot of money. I don't really care. Yeah, so one of your merchants. Mm. Okay, Tara. I'm going to take one of your uh, quarrymen. No, no, fine, no point. Fine, person. He's gonna get it regardless. Corey, um, I'm going to yeah, take yeah. one of your prayer guys, Chris. Um, merchant, merchant. This is hard. This is really hard. You know what else is hard? <laughs> I'm not attacking you, Corey. So. Let's just set it up. The game really is is coming down to this turn. Um, I think everybody meets the winning criteria as of right now. I do not. <laughs> Corey is short. One person. One person. Not yeah. these better. Currently, one person. But at the end of harvest, could easily get. That. No, I can't. I've done the math, and oh, I really? cannot afford my additional person. Oh. Okay. I'll get it. Why not? I'm sure, you can. It's going to be very close. It's going to be very close. Very close. If someone attacks you right now, they screw your chance of close. Either yes. way, this is exciting. So. Riveting. Okay. So now we need to pick decisions. who we're going to fight. <clears throat> um, hmm. You know, you might as well just do the random. <laughs> well, the only thing is, is but it's not there's one person really. I really don't want to win. <laughs> <laughs> Such bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> And there's two other people... I came from behind. <laughs> I've never won a game ever. <laughs> and there's two other people who... And the one person I don't want to win wins all the time. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely not me. So, <laughs> Ow. then I don't really care who it comes down to on the other per on the other two, because uh. they've never won. One of them gets eliminated faster than anything. Almost <laughs> as fast as me. <laughs> Very true. So I'm glad there's no eliminate. Well, there was actually an elimination component. Elimination, yeah. Unfortunately. So play, has everyone picked? Yes. Yep. Show them. Well then. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Well, I didn't win. Pick a hero. Well, now I want to choose someone else. I was kind of hoping it was going to get closer than that. Nope. Well, it's going to be close between those two, because I probably didn't beat Chris. He has so many soldiers. I needed help. Well, uh, we're probably going to hit and max you out at the f four. Yeah. It's ten plus, right? Yeah. Yeah, it'll you be, need to beat me by ten to be close. four, and um, my total is eight. I've got four. My total is ten. My total is eight. <laughs> Hey, yes. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I contributed eight. You contributed ten, so you get to choose first. Yep. Oh, we tied. Yeah. Um, Wait, who's the king of kings? You are. Damn. And you're being attacked. Okay. Um, so you pick what you damage first, and then him, then me, right? Yeah. 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 Damage your field, man. Your first meat shield. Yep. Uh, your second farmer. Okay. Farmer. Okay. And there's one more to choose. So Max is four, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, your farmer. Once again. Okay. Boom. Me or me, I have to And then Chris, you and I tie. Uh, four. At eight. Yeah. So you didn't actually. So nothing three. happens. Nothing happens. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. All okay. right. So we're just gonna turn so over. Back. Let's do the money thing. I got nothing. I get two for my lines. I get two for my lines. Do you have a fourth guy or you have lots? I have five. Okay, the bank takes their cut. Bank which is that massive one. pile there. So you guys get you three. Pick China, and I get four and I get three. 
And I didn't have any, so I get nothing. And you. And Corey didn't have any. I didn't have any. So that gets cleared okay. up and Monuments completed! Corey, Yay. Priest does it, or Corey does it. Let's and then Priest leaves. Didn't do anything. Priest. I figured 8 was pretty. It's gonna be like 12. I hope it's 8. And then it's. I have meat shields, so they can go back. Money time. It's a three. Ooh. A very low three. Holy shit. I'll pay that. Don't lie. One, two, One, three. two, three. Yep. One, two, three. Yep. And I'll pay the extra two for a card. As will I. Same. How many can I get for cards? Just this one. So will I. So Mark we're all going to get a card. Mark pulls yeah. a card first. Should we do that now? Sure. Is that how it's done? You might as well. Yeah. Wheat. Wheat. It's actually That's good actually for good you. For yeah, because right now you just nuke that dude. And Chris. Yep. Wheat. And Tara, wheat. <laughs> and we reshuffle. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> 10, so 15, everybody 16. got the exact same bonus there. Great tiebreaker. I just set all my crops. <laughs> but I, I, I'm happy about that. Then we earn our crops. Okay, so now we check victory conditions. Does anyone have 10 monuments and 16 people? Right yes. yes! Oh, everyone does. Okay, let's move on to the first tiebreaker. Who has the largest population? I have 21. I have 20. Chris wins. Yay! Bam! Ba -da -ba -da. Oh, it's so close. I thought I was going to win I this one. I knew I should have attacked Chris. I think that's the first time I've won... A board game. It is. I think it is. Yes, finally. This is your season, buddy. This oh, is your season. season. Yeah. We right. should keep a running total. Right, sure. number two. So, what first time playing this game. Oh, yeah. Let's go over what so we close. thought. This Mark, one. you could go first since you uh, played this game the most. <laughs> um, I really like this game. This game has sentimental value, though, because I was on the original playtesters a long time ago, and the uh, designer of this game, friend of the show, Graham Johns, and uh, I thoroughly enjoy this game because there's a lot of underneath strategy and nobody, for the most part, feels like they're out. I think everybody still kind of feels like there's a slight I, chance at the end there. I kind of I felt, felt, I I kind felt, of felt <laughs> out a little bit at the beginning and then, yeah, I clawed, clawed my way it, back it into it. It balances itself out. Yeah. Yep. Yep. What do you think, Chris? Um, it was funny when, we, when you sent out the rules and I was reading the rules, um, and I'm sure a couple other people will agree, it seemed a lot more complicated uh, than than really as soon as you start playing it. It it really isn't that complicated. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. I I thought it was. It's it's fun. It's a really interesting uh, game in regards to resource management. So yes. I liked it. Tara, opinion. I like the fact that it's very transparent. You can see what everyone else is doing, but at the same time, you can still kind of have a plan going, especially when it comes to the armies and calculated risk and all that good stuff. It was fun. I was so close. Um, I liked it. The setup, it, it it seems like it's a really steep curve, and it's not. And uh, I actually enjoyed it. I did know I wasn't going to win, though. <laughs> <laughs> you came close, though, right? Nope. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Last round, you, you did. were short by actually, doing... Actually, you, you, you beat more. You beat me. You beat more. How many people did you lose at the end? I didn't lose any. I oh, gained okay. one. He oh, gained nice. one. Well, uh, that's it for this week's episode. Remember to share, like, subscribe. I uh, wanted to thank everybody. While we were off, we gained 100 subscribers. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. <laughs> so thanks. That's pretty sweet. Um, and see you next week. Bye. <laughs>